Good for you, man. Keep keep following your traditional uh, rogue mill, man. New sets out, man. Strict savings here, uh, and I will smack your rogue around, bro. Come at me with that broke ass rogue sh and get the new cards, man. There's a free code for new cards, man. Put that sh man. Get it together. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Strixhaven, ladies and gentlemen. Strixhaven has dropped. If you have not seen my massive, massive pack opening video, uh, along with the code to get your three free decks, go check out my other video. Um... Well, after watching this one, or you can leave this one, I don't care. Actually, I do care. Watch this one. This is going to be a good one, guys. Listen, man, we need a shake-up right now. We need to do something different. So we're doing what is used to be called Golgari. I guess it's still called Golgari, but... Um, we're enrolling in, rolling in the College of Witherbloom. The University of Strixhaven. But the College of Witherbloom. House Witherbloom. And we are going to go to school with... Professor Vito. Ah, but that's not Vito. Well, let me show you who it is. He's enrolling in school. Uh, he's going to teach us everything he knows about draining the life out of people with the help of Witherbloom. As you know, I'm a big fan of Golgari, and I love gain and drains. And Witherbloom excels at that. We have a just an embarrassment of riches when it comes to Witherbloom. Um, so let's take a look, guys. Let's take a look at some new fun stuff. And see if we can't make a little trouble and shake up that uh, and shake up that meta a little bit, right? Because man, if you're still playing uh, Zendikar Rogues, man, Zendikar came out two sets ago, man. You gotta let that go. Uh, time to let that go, man. You don't need to be playing Zendikar Rogues anymore, man. Just just let it go at this point. <clears throat> so, before we get started, of course, I'm gonna ask something for you. I need you to do something. Tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Because if you don't, the like and subscribe will come after you. Uh, and he will attack you and maul you. Every day we get closer to Innistrad Blood Moon. And every day he goes stronger. So uh, go ahead and do that. You can also follow us on our Twitch. Twitch.tv slash ThatVillainJ. Um, live streams every night. We have a very own Discord community, which I'd love you to join and share your decks. And additionally, by popular demand, we do have an Aether Hub account now uh, where you can check out all of my uploaded decks, build your own, and have fun with it. All those links will be in the description. So, <clears throat> aside from all that, let's get going. Professor's Warning. There she is, Liliana, uh, also known as per Professor Onyx. All right. Uh, choose one. 1-1 one, one target on target creature. A 1-1 one, one counter can shift the balance very much, and target creature gains indestructible until the end of turn. Um, solid, man. Indestructible for one black mana? Yes, please. An instant? Yes, please. Serrated Scorpion. I love this card. When you're doing grain, gain and drain, he is the best early card you can play. Um, he is probably one of the few cards that we mostly don't have from Strixhaven here. Uh, just because he's just so dang useful, isn't he? Sometimes we need to sacrifice people with village rights. We have this lovely scroll version. I don't know what version that is called. Um, card style. Uh, you can get it by opening up... Um, what is it called? Premier Masters? I can't remember. Um, you can get it by opening up... Uh, certain packs... And uh, you can get Village Rights, and it will look like that, which is pretty cool. So we do need to sack for some card draw, um, which occasionally we want to sack Serrated Scorpion. So, but we also have other sacrifice features in this. Life goes on. This is a key one, guys. Ah, Mystical Archive. Thank you, Cthulhu. Um, you gain four life. If a creature died this turn, you gain eight life. So what we want to do is hit Serrated Scorpion with Village Rights, gain two, 
uh, we're going to gain eight life. They're going to lose two life. We're going to gain 10 life. If we hit life goes on, they're going to, and we're going to draw cards. This combo right here is very useful. It's even more useful as we go later on. Null Priest of Oblivion. I love this one. Um, Menace, lifelink, and a kicker to bring somebody back from the dead. 2-1 lifelinker. Uh, solid little card to put down. And, of course, a vampire. Now, here she is, guys. One of my new favorites. Oh, we're going to be seeing her a lot. Oh, boy. Dina, the Stole Steeper. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. Um, Vito x Dina. Yeah, I ship them. I ship them hard. Uh, Druid, Dryad Druid. Uh, and we can sacrifice another creature, and she gets plus one, plus X until the end of turn, where X is the sacrifice creature's power. All right. Very, very useful. A two drop, one three. She's almost the same as Vito, a little bit different. She's very, she's like Vito's daughter, a little cheaper though. Um, so we mostly replace Vito's daughter with her now. Infuse with Vitality, another amazing um, Witherbloom common. Till the end of turn, target creature gains death touch, and when this creature dies, return to the battlefield under its owner's control, and you gain two life. For two mana, and it's common? Yes. Yes, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take a few of them. Witherbloom Apprentice, Magecraft. Whenever you cast a copy or an instant or sorcery spell, um, uh, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. And again, Witherbloom doing it up. Look how many um, instants of sorceries we have. Professor's Warning, Village Rise, Flights Goes On, Infused with Vitality. Uh, plenty of them to play. 2-2, two, 2-drop. Two, two yes, please. And whenever I gain life, Dina the Soul Steeper is going to make him lose another one. Uh, yes, please. Call the Death Dweller. We have a lot of small creatures here that we can always bring back, uh, whether it's Dina, uh, Witherbloom, or if it's Serrated Scorpion or something like that. I didn't want to overload on them, but um, because I kind of wanted to fuse the vitality, we'll also bring back from people from the dead. Um, <clears throat> but also, given Death Touch and Menace, it can be a mid to late game changer. Through the blood of the wicked, we shall be redeemed. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen, ladies and gentlemen. You know I love this card, guys. You know I'm going to play a card right away with this guy. Um, <clears throat> we only need three of them because we have so much gain and drain here. If we get to his ultimate creatures you control, gain life link until the end of turn. Uh, whenever we gain life, the opponent loses that much life. Um, through the blood of the wicked, we shall be redeemed. So all this life gain, this is what we want. We want to have him out, we want to sack Serrated Scorpion, draw two cards, and then play Life Goes On. They're going to lose eight li 10 life. We're going to gain 10 life and draw two cards. Um, holy Lord, that's a lot of damage. Uh, if you have multiple Life Goes On in your hands with a Village Rites or Serrated Scorpion, please. So we need somebody to die. That's why we have Village Rites. And that's also why we have Dina. So the synergy with Dina, we can just sacrifice another creature we don't need. Um, and then we can hit the life goes on blood researcher, another common card. Whatever you gain life, put a one, one counter blood researcher. I wish she was cheaper, but she is a vampire druid. So she is fitting very much with the vampire theme. We have, uh, vampires and druids working together to make things grow out of darkness. Um, yeah. What can I say about her other than that she's basically like a uh, like an evil vampire version of that one priest? What is that called? Hollow Priest. Um, except she comes with Menace. So, bonus. Uh, she's going to be doing a lot of the heavy lifting, especially with Menace on her. She's going to be putting a lot of damage in. If we have her big enough when we hit Vito's ultimate and send her in, it's going to do damage. And then, of course, we have Mortality Spear. Um... A beautiful removal. I might add some more. Um, this spell costs two less to cast if you gain life during this turn. Very likely going to happen. Uh, and destroy target non-land permanent. Okay, let me reiterate that. Destroy target non-land permanent. That's anything. That's artifact, uh, planeswalker, uh, enchantment. In green and black, we have destroying non-land permanent. Yes, please. Yes, please, ladies and gentlemen. Um, absolutely. And it's an instant, which will trigger our other instants that we can do. Um, like Witherbloom Apprentice. Yes, please. 
uh, 10 swamps, okay, 8 forests, 4 dark boar pathways total. Uh, we need to get our variety of mana out. So that's 22. That's 23. We throw in one for Radiant Fountain just to get that extra little life gain to make that spice extra nice. Um, Vernon Dave, you just got gifted a sub. Thank you, Tanuki. Uh, coming in at the three spot. Let's take a look at the uh, build here. Um, 33 and 20, a little bit heavier on the black. Uh, we're going to change the card backs. We lost our other card back, so let's do the Golgari standard card backs there. All right. And uh, what we're looking at here is two average. Very, very aggro. Okay. Very aggro. 14, um, 12, 9, and 2. Okay. Uh, 20 creatures, 15 instants, 2 sorceries, 23 lands total. Uh, that's what we're looking at here. Looking at an alternate view. 1, 2, 3. Freeze it. And we are looking at one, two, and three. Vi Mortality Spear is usually never going to cost um, is never going to cost its full price with this deck. Oh, Stignox is reminding me. We forgot to add Stignox's delight. You know what? We forgot. We forgot. Two of them just to round it out. If you don't have them, don't worry about it. But two of them ought to do it. So this is Professor Vito. Let us get. Um, a little bit more into this game. We're going to use the Strixhaven lands uh, just for funsies. And uh, let's do it, guys. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, have a little error with the everything's missing at the bottom. Yeah. So we do have this little missing at the bottom bug, but we're not going to let that bother us. And we're going to get into a good ranked game with Professor Vito. Here we go. Hopefully the auto shuffler treats us well tonight. Hopefully we won't have too many problems. Uh, who else we got out there? Got a lot of guys tonight. Don't be afraid to talk, guys. I want to get those extra. If I get 15 people are talking at once, I can get those extra. Uh, I can get those extra, 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 extra VIP slots that I'd be more than happy to give out. All right, we do have plenty of life goes on. Okay. Oh, okay, so we're actually playing some Strict Saving cards. Um, a lot of people's complaints lately have been that nobody's actually playing any Strict Saving. So, decent complaint, I mean. Um, this might be a Boros. We'll see. Hall of Oracles, very cool. Yeah, this might be a Selesny or Boros... Um, pump up oh yeah people were still playing i like i said before people still playing zendikar rogues like like it was their business man um yeah so we're gonna put that down we're gonna put dina down and then we're going to um Yeah. Just that quickly, the tables have turned. I built a rogue deck first when, you know, it was obviously going to be good. There's Elite Spellbinder. Very good. Uh, he's going to exile a non-land card. Uh, I built a rogue deck, man, you know, um, and it was very good, but then people just started making rogue decks and never stopped. Uh, that was really the issue. Um, so he's going to attack, attack. All right, we're going to hit this. Um, yeah, it was a really cool deck. Hey, mill rogue, yeah, you can attack, you can get big stuff going, and blah, 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 and and then people took it, and then they just refined it to the point where it was, like, basically unbeatable. And, um, you know, it just got ridiculous. Hey, look at that owl guy. Look at that guy. That's pretty fun. 
Chicken wings. All right, so he's going to come in with that. All right, so we're kind of missing a black card here. Um, I'm going to attack here. Do it. Do it. Strike me down with your anger. Alright, let's see if you can do 27 damage on one hurt. Hothead Olsen just subscribed for three months in a row. Thank you, man. Uh, let's see if he can absolutely charge himself up to do 23 damage. Because if not, he's going to be in trouble. Beaming Defiance, yeah, he's going he's gonna to push it. I don't know if he's going to be able to hit me for that much, though. Um, especially if I can gain two life. Um, Beaming Defiance is pretty good. So he's, he's going to try to run in and hit me. He's going to play it again. On probably the other club, Aluminum Answer. Um, which is going to be 8, 10, 13 damage will put me down to 10. Um, no, that's 12. Uh, and 5 is going to be not enough, is what it's going to be. Mavinda Students Advocate. You can't tell me that owl doesn't smoke weed, man. I'm sorry. I just won't believe it. Alright, so now we have a little bit more here. Alright. You gonna block, man? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, man? He is gonna block. He's gonna do it. Do it. Do it. Watch this. Watch this, guys. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. And that's called the drain and gain, ladies and gentlemen. The drain and gain. I'm just leeching life off of you. You can't survive that. Witherbloom, guys. Witherbloom. That's what I'm talking about, man. Thumping sound. Yeah, that's me bouncing my leg. <laughs> I didn't know you could hear that. That's me bouncing my leg under the table. I can't even believe you could hear that. That is funny. This is this is not great, but you know what? We have that mortality spear there. Um, didn't even know you guys could hear that. It's just me bouncing my leg up and down under my desk. The new card art is very interesting. Let's see what else he's got here. I want to play Village Rights. But he's building up on something else. Look at this. Look at this Mana Flood. This is some great Mana Flood here. Um, I'd love to get more cards, but I'm not. I'm going to wait till he tries to burn me up. Uh, that way I can play Mortality Spear for on the cheap. Let's see what he's got. Nope, it's nothing. He's got nerf or nothing. Look at this mana flood. Wow. Into the flood again. 
Same old trip it was back then. So I've made a big mistake. Try to see it once my way. Am I wrong? Have I come too far to get on? Bop, 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 bop. Am I wrong? Left you here alone. If I could, would you? Do -do -do. All right. I think me singing isn't it won't get demonetized. I can't play their version. What is this guy doing, man? What is go I'm so confused right now. What is going on? Honestly, I, I have no clue what's going on right now. Is there some sort of weird Sprite dragon? Maybe he's got a dragon? I, uh, I'm i so confused. Alright. Okay, see, so he, he got that. He's gonna pass the turn again. Okay, I'm gonna get some... Oh, there's Blood Researcher. Do nothing tribal, man. Do nothing is it. He's gonna Essence scatter that. Sure, no problem, man. You go, you do it. Um... I'm going to village rights this scorpion. Um, put down that forest. Magnum opus? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe magnum opus. I don't know. Does magnum opus just let you win the whole game in one card? Because if you don't, it's not going to work. Um, so he's going to hit slang fire on that. Um, so we're going to village rights her. So we can draw two extra cards. Because if she's going to die anyways, we can just bring her back. And uh, you can do that. Um, pass. Rowan Scholar. Okay. Just you wait. Uh, drawn three or more. Okay, so it's a card draw. I mean, she's just going to die. Um... There's Fable Passage. I'm so happy that I can pull a card out of my deck because I really needed some mana. God, look at that flood, man. Uh, we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to play... Um, we're going to play Blood Researcher, man. Saw it coming. Oh, okay. I'm so confused right now, man. Look how much mana I got. Um, that's 8, 9, 10, 11 land cards that I drew. That's pretty cool, huh? 11 land cards? It's half my land. He still hasn't done anything. There we go. Okay, maybe he's got another counterspell here. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can counterspell it. Probably yes. Oh, no, he can't. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do something weird. So he does have a counterspell. Okay. Okay. He does have a counter spell. He's gonna slang fire that. We're gonna hit life goes on. There we go. Uh why not attack first? Because I didn't need to. Uh, he would have been dead from the he would have been dead from the life drain. 
So what was what would be the point? I can always go bigger. Wow! Look at the guys. Come on. Four, nine, ten, eleven, twelve mana. Wow. Oh my goodness. Tw twelve mana, guys. Um, l Lord Almighty, man. Clearly we're doing too much here. Um, there's a serrated scorpion. He's probably going to play... Um, he's probably going to play a counterspell. It's probably saw it coming. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, well, if he tries to wipe the board now, he's going to die. Uh, two of those... If those two cards die, um, the game is over. So... It's unclear what solution he has is here. Um, the principle of the thing? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say, guys. I just wanted it to be over with. I just wanted to drain him. I wanted to drain death. Can I not have a bit of vanity? Jeez. Uh, so there's that. Yeah, all right. You're going to hit for that. All right. Yeah, he's dead. Um, pretty much. Will Scholar Frost. Okay, he's got that one out. I don't even know what the hell this one does. Honestly. He could counterspell this, but, I mean... Um, let's do that. Let's see if we can get the counterspell out first. Yeah, he foretold that. How do I still have a 30% of drawing land? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know, guys. How do I still have a 30% chance of drawing land? How? How is that even possible? Channel Force. That's got to be a spell somewhere. All right, so he's got plenty of burn and counter spells. Let's see if he can actually pull it off. There's Null Priest of Oblivion. He's probably going to counter it, but we'll see. Nope, he doesn't. Uh, so we want... Uh, Vito. Let's see. He's probably going to be able to burn it up, but uh, Arena absolutely fucking hates me and won't give me any cards, so. He's going to deck himself before he wins. Jeez, look at that. 32 cards left, man. Uh, I should have, yeah. Um, I should have brought back Scorpion. Um, yeah, I should have brought back Scorpion. That would have killed him. Uh, Professor's Warning is not going to do shit. Um, I should have brought back two Scorpions, as a matter of fact. That was my bad. That was another vanity play, guys. Sorry about that. Draw two cards. He's just going to do that. He just wants cards and cards and cards. So he just wants burn and counter spells. Uh, these are going to do nothing. All right. Two percent chance, almost three percent chance to call the Death Dweller. There's the Magic Mirror. Uh, my turn. Uh, Infused with Vitality. Um, let's 
dude's gonna deck himself before he wins. Oh, look at that, Fabled Passage. Well, that's gonna pull another mana out of my hand. I mean, pull another land out of my... Uh, basic Forest. Wow. We clearly have way too much land in this. 23 is way too much. We're gonna cut one down. Hey, look, a Scorpion. Counterspell. Bindings. What is a binding? All right. Of course, naturally. Another pathway. Good. How there's still a 29% chance of land, I don't know. No, I have no binding of the old gods. Um, professor's warning. Excellent. Perfect. Can't get any creatures. Have plenty of creatures left, but doesn't want me to have any. Um, arena. Wow, this shuffler is super balanced, isn't it? All right, blood researcher. Let's just get it counterspelled real quick. All right. Well, he can't destroy it, so um, he's pretty much dead at this point. Uh, he cannot destroy it, no matter how much fire he throws it at, unless he has a fucking... Uh, Watch him call it. An exile card. So looks like it is, man. Um looks like your lucky is running out on me. Yeah, all right. It's really fun playing this mana tribal. Um, really fun playing this mana tribal. I know it was. I thought he was retargeting it. He retargeted me. So I miss I misplayed it because I'm so fucking dead inside right now. Oh my Jesus Lord almighty. This is this is really absurd. Um this is just he's going to deck himself, man. He's got 13 cards left. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. This is one of the weirdest matches I've ever played in my life. I I misplayed a bunch too, so I mean I can't I got nobody to uh um I got nobody to blame but myself. So he's gonna foretell that. Uh I don't know why. This is this is absurd, man. This is just absurd. 14 out of 23. I only have 9 lands left in my deck. He's only ha He only has 10 cards left in his deck, man. He's going to deck himself with Magic Mirror. For real, he's gonna for real deck himself with Magic Mirror. This is crazy, man. Oh, he's done. The 
Oh my goodness. Let's see if let's see if he's Oh my goodness. He's gonna fucking deck himself with magic mirror. Next turn. He's gotta kill me right now. See how many he's played. He's played three slang. He's played all four slang fires and two shocks, uh, which means that I don't even think he can do that much damage to face on me. Um, there's environmental sciences. He's gonna cast another one. He's gonna pull that out of his. Does he? Does he know that he can get? Does he know that he can get um, decked? Like, does he not know that rule? Magic Mirror is going to make him draw four cards as soon as his turn ends. He's going to play Shock on me. Let's see. He's got a little bit of red mana left, but he's damn near out of instance to go face with. Unless this guy, he might know Frostbite doesn't go face. Um, this is so weird, man. Uh, this is really weird. I'm so confused. I'm so confused, guys. And that's it. Okay, he... Oh my goodness. Alright. I think we both lost that game, man. The, the concept of magic cards lost in that one. I may have won, but... Damn, that that was just that was one of the most bizarre things I've ever seen. What was even the point of that deck? Uh, we all lost. Yeah, all of us lost watching that man. I apologize. Uh, honestly, if you want a refund, just contact Twitch support, uh, and you can request a refund for that shit. I have no clue what the hell that was. I don't know what the concept of the deck was. I don't know what he was trying to pull. I don't know what I, he was gonna deck himself. Oh, he was going to... I, okay, I got to get past it. Let's get past it, guys. I misplayed. I should have brought back the... I should have brought back the Scorpions, but... Um, as soon as he put out Magic Mirror, it was done. Because he was never going to do enough damage to... He was never going to do enough damage to kill me. Um, so... And it was just going to make him keep drawing more and more and more. <laughs> uh, that's really gross, man. Um... Okay, so we got a few interesting ones here. How long was that? I don't know. Longer than it needed to be. Probably about 20 minutes. Um, so... You know. He's got snow. He's got snow. Okay, Null Priest. We really need a green mana here. Prismari Command, you can do that and create a treasure. Okay. With a Bloom Appr Apprentice, couldn't do anything with that. Douche, douche. Okay. All right, and turn. Apparently, I hit my mana quota. 
gold dragon, immediately playing the gold dragon. Uh, yeah, we just got mana screwed on this one, man. He came out, he came out quick. He came out with the quickness here. And that ain't a green mana. So yeah, so we're, we're in deep shit. Apparently, I broke the auto shuffler um, with that last game, man. That was like watching a fucking car wreck in slow motion. That was just absurd. What's up, Yusuf? We're having a weird night, man. And we're about to get our ass kicked by a Prismari, so... Draconic Intervention. I don't see how that is going to help. Um, that made me have more life than him. Oh, it got, I think I got exiled. Okay, yeah, we're done here. Yeah, we're done here. Um, that's ridiculous, man. This, I, 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 can't, I can't explain this, man. How am I, what am I supposed to do with this? The Auto Shuffler is just... I, what, am I, what am I even supposed to do, man? What am I even supposed to do? What am I even supposed to do at this point? Last turn, I get completely mana flooded. This time, I get completely mana droughted. Um, the, the, the variety that we're getting here is just absurd, man. Uh, and this is not going to be a mana either. If it is going to be black. Nope, no mana either. Okay, so I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that, guys. Um, Strixhaven, we hardly knew ye. Um, good lord almighty. Yeah, I just got a scoop on the third land drop in a row. I wanted to take mana out of this deck because it was too much. Um, because, uh, I mean, good lord almighty. I mean, what am I supposed to do with that, man? What am I even supposed to do with that? Um, okay, so what if we do another infuse with vitality? Craft. Let's try one less man and see. Maybe that'll shake the auto shuffler loose. Hey, look, we got a Strixhaven pack. Let's open it up. All right, let's do that. Electrolyze, interesting. And some wilds, fervent mastery, closing statement. Okay, uh, let's see if we can get an actual game in. Let's see if we can actually play a game of Magic. You think we guys? You think we can play? A game of magic in this Magic the Gathering video game? I don't know. It's a, it's a hit or miss. Hit or miss at this point. Um, okay. Decent mana spread. Good cards. James2814. What's up, man? We ain't seen you in a while, James. Uh, welcome back to the show. Um, there's a fatal passage. Doesn't matter. I want to put down uh, that. Elysian Karyatid, do that, uh, Witherboom Apprentice, okay, all right, yeah, we're going to be all right here, guys, uh, we're going to be all right here, what's the deal with these alternate land guards, he's going to bone crush me, um, yeah, you can bone crush me. That's fine. Ooh, he's gonna one pot me too. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that down. That down. Do 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 like that. And pop. All right. It's a way to, for them to throw older cards in Historic, and it also comes with some uh, 
it also comes with some cosmetics. Crush. He didn't like that. Ooh, excellent. I can do this. Oh, yeah? They're doing paper packs, too, for that? That's pretty cool. I might buy some paper. Um, that's pretty cool. He's going to bone crush. We're going to sacrifice it then. Draw two cards. Boof, boof. All right, resolve. Drank. Haro-san, Haro-san Kiyo, we ain't seen you for a while, man. All right, there he goes. There goes the stomper guy. My turn. All right, Null Priest of Oblivion. We're going to put down Vito. Put down Null Priest of Oblivion. I'm going to go in. You got a full house. It's not going to matter. He's dead. He's dead in his feet right now. Oh, yeah. He's dead in his feet right now. Um, I'm just going to do this. Fairy tale ending, ladies and gentlemen. Fairy tale ending. Dark fairy tale ending. Yep. Oh, 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 there we go. Uh, there we go. That'll do it every time. The triggers, man. The triggers will get you. Uh, Strixhaven is okay. Um, I'm waiting to see what kind of more jank stuff comes out. I'm waiting to see if there's something that can shake up the meta. Um, I'm hoping... I'm having fun with it so far. Um, I want people to play it, obviously. I, I'd hate for it to be a total, uh, you know... I just enjoyed the flavor of Kaldheim more. I mean, I wish Kaldheim had more cards that shook things up, but uh, <clears throat> Kaldheim's, like, you know, coolness factor was uh, definitely, definitely something. All right, we're going to do Null Priest. Yeah, I would have loved like a Kaldheim End Times, like a sequel to uh, a sequel to Kaldheim.
Yeah, well, that was called Doomscar. Doomscar was the Ragnarok. You know, they never call things what they actually are. Uh, so Doomscar was Kaldheim Ragnarok. Um... He might play some removal here. No, nope, he's not going to. Yeah, that's like what I liked is they did the Amonkhet, then they did Hour of Devastation, which was like Amonkhet but flipped on its head and fucked up. Uh, so that was fun. Uh, okay, he's going to pop me there. Call the Death Dweller. All right, yeah, we're going to do this. Uh, Vito. Ooh, Finn the Fangborn. He's dead no matter what. Uh-oh. Life goes on, my man. Life goes on. Y'all want one more? Yeah, we can do one more. Are gods more powerful than planeswalkers? That's a tough question. Um, that is a tough question, man. Gods in the story are very different plane to plane. Uh, planeswalkers can become gods. Planeswalkers are seen as gods. They lowered the power of planeswalkers. Planeswalkers used to be basically gods. Um, so, like, Sarah was worshipped as a goddess because she was so powerful. She made all the angels. Um, so, I mean, you got to be swinging some serious, uh, some serious power to do that. And she was worshipped as a god. Uh, Urza was a planeswalker. They have lowered the power of planeswalkers severely as to be just being super powerful wizards when they were just like extra-dimensional, like, hyper-gods. Um, so it's hard to say that, yeah, for, for sure... Gods, gods were never unkillable. In uh, they were almost unkillable, but they were never completely immortal. Um, they were never completely immortal um, because um, you even have stuff like Yagmoth and uh, these ultra powerful interdimensional things that are you know um, just ripping things up. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, but even in the old Strixhaven, even in the old, uh, not Strixhaven, even in the old um, set, there was um, there was the issue with, um, there was deicide. You could exile things and do other stuff. Like, um, you know, it was pretty, It they were very powerful. Um, even more so than uh, then now. Mm, who can I bring back? Oh, I can bring back Vito. Let's bring back Dina and a Scorpion. That's a better deal. He might counterspell that. He might drown on the block that. Yeah, I figured he'd counterspell that. However, he's got to deal with this right now. Yeah, we're really giving it to this uh, rogue mill, man. Uh, honestly. 
Uh, yep, that's what a lot of people said. They said, new set came out, let me run a Zendikar-only Rogue Mill. Um, that's what they wanted. They were like, bro, new set? No fucking way, Rogue Mill. Rogue Mill. Rogue Mill. It's, uh... I think we're gonna make it 5 to 1. I don't think that he has... Teferi's Tootle is that, ain't it, Chief? You're gonna be dead in a minute. <clears throat> I don't think you're gonna be able to mill me fast enough here. Especially I got Vito's left. There's a Dino. Thieves Guild, okay. That's what I was waiting on. It's got Menace, bud. You gotta block that with two. You gotta block that with two, homie. This Menace. Yeah, I'm attacking Sack. I got you, bub. I got you, bub. Who do I want to get? I'll get rid of you. Well, no. I gotta get rid of you. Nice. Glad he got that last little dig in. Good for you, man. Keep keep following your traditional uh, rogue mill, man. New sets out, man. Strict savings here, uh, and I will smack your rogue shit around, bro. Come at me with that broke-ass rogue shit, man. Get the new cards, man. There's a free code for new cards, man. Put that shit in, man. Get it together. All right, guys. We're going to leave it right there. Um, I think that, of course, the word of the day is going to be Witherbloom. Uh... Very nice. 5-1. We just won that one where we got... We lost that one where we got mana screwed. Um, I think we have a pretty good... Um, pretty good stats on this deck, I think. Not super high, because I was still refining it a little bit. Um, so, let's see where Professor Vito falls out at. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where, I don't even see it. Um, might not, might, might, that might not be to update. Oh, Professor Vito, 57. Um, all right, so pretty good, man. Pretty good. Pretty good all, all around. Uh, pretty happy with it. Pretty solid. And, uh, hey, I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. Tell me what you string a Strixhaven, 
and uh, we will see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.